Hey everybody, this is Chris Nicholson. I'm a keyboard collector, honky-tonk musician, and I love to do pianos, keyboards, and different kind of technology. And this right over here is my 92 key Lumi keys. Hopefully I can get another one, make it 120. But check this out. A lot of people wanted to ask me, what about the color scheme when you first turn it on? So we might have to do this in slow motion. And this is my Lumi Keys, which is by Roly. So these are the Lumi Keys, which is actually 24. Uh, it's a two octave keyboard. And I got four of them. Just like a train, you know, just like a subway train. And um, so this over here is basically your Lumi uh, Block Looper, which is right here. I'm still trying to figure out about that. But a lot of people's asking me, okay, when you start it up, what kind of color scheme does it do as it starts up? So what I might have to do is I might have to do this video a couple times because I want to slow it down just to see the color scheme on it. So let's do that. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like this and you can see it. Then I'm going to turn off the light. And then I first I have to find the button. There we go. Button's right here. So, okay. I have to turn off the light. And then let's do it fast. And, of course, it does a sequence, which is like a wave sequence right there, which is really cool. As for the Lumi block, it's lit up. It's all charged. Now, if it's all green, it's all charged. Just like this. It's all green right here. These are all green, it's charged. If it's like yellow or if it's red, if it's red, it definitely needs charging. But I think these this could last at least six hours. That's what I, um, I have to test. I'm not particularly for sure about it, but I have to test. Putting back on the lights. One thing about it is that with the lights or without the lights, you can still see it. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so. Let's do this. Let's slow it down. All right, so let's just try one and see how the color scheme is. So I'm gonna turn off the light. Not bad. They're from the opposite direction, from right to left. Let's see. Hmm, it's nice. How about starting it from the middle? Let's try that. Hmm. Doesn't look as pleasing. Starting it from left to right. Let's do that. That's more like it. So everybody, just wanted to show you these two right over here I got straight from the Lumi company right over here. And these two over here I got in New York. And these are the pre-owned Lumis, as you can see how the keys are a little bit. I'm gonna see if I could get those keys replaced. But um, yeah, so these are the pre-owned Lumis right here that I got from New York. And these are the factory fresh Lumis that I got from the Rolly Company. And this I got in New York. I've been trying to see if I could find another one of these, but they also have these other Lumi blocks, which is really cool. So I have to look into that. So let's see this with the lights on. Let's see how it is. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. With the lights on, it's still illuminated, which is really good. So what I would like for the new future Lumis, I mean, the design is really, really cool. Um, with the future Lumis, I would like basically um, a sustain pedal in the back. Like, say, for instance, they could put, they could put some kind of sustain pedal jack in the back or... 
um, or if they make a Bluetooth sustain pedal um, that goes with the Lumi and works flawlessly with like the iPad right over there. Uh, excuse my mess on the piano, everybody. I'm just cleaning up. Um, as for the Roly block, I know they have the drum block, which is really cool. But what I suggest is if they have two, um, like just like this or something like that, two um, ribbon strips, one for pitch bend and modulation, if you don't want to do it on here. So you could do the pitch bend modulation on here too. But just in case if you decide you don't want to do it on there, you have another extra block for that. Pitch, pitch bend modulation and um this thing is modular so you can have volume you can have different color schemes on it and it's really cool you see in the back this is how it looks all side by side all magnetically magnetically uh connected um and it's just a regular board which i'm using part of my stand for my yamaha right there and um Honestly, 92 keys, can't go wrong. Just gotta uh, do a little practice with it because it is, does it, it doesn't feel weird to play on. It's just, um, it's a little bit smaller, you know? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click like, subscribe, follow me on everything and go to the Lumi website and get yourself a Lumi keys. You know, um, I'm not endorsed by this company, but I'm giving them a heads up because I think they're really cool. And hopefully they can watch this video and give me an endorsement of their newer products or whatever. And I can definitely perform out with these beautiful Lumi keys. Bye, everybody.